The Exhibition of Naval Robots and Technologies Euro Naval 2022. Robot Passenger Robot, Cyborg Pigeons, and the Results of Tech Day of the Chinese company Xpeng. Robot Centaur and Mind Reading with FMRI. All of this and other high-tech news in today's one episode. Let's get started. Imagine a mobile robot that's been designed to enhance the indoor and outdoor advertising experience, attract greater attention, and engage with customers. RoboAds Company, one of the fastest growing leaders in the digital signage robotics industry, has showcased its latest signage robot during GitX this year. RoboAds robots can be used for advertising, telepresence video calling, wayfinding, gaming, and other possible customizations. It's like a mobile service kiosk that goes to the customer to provide a better experience. They can be placed in any busy public place, like airports, malls, stations, shops, or trade shows, and autonomously roam around the venues. RoboAds Robots definitely stands out as one of the most unique and most advanced robots to be recently showcased during GitX. Find RoboAds contacts in the description. Rapid Fire Autonomous Turret for Destroying Drone Swarms was presented at Euronaval 2022 Naval Exhibition in Paris. The novelty was presented by Nexter and Thales. In modern warfare, assets worth billions of dollars such as warships face cheap but deadly threats such as drones, floating mines, barraging munitions, and more. The Rapid Fire is designed to deal with these threats and is capable, according to the developers, of finding, capturing, and destroying threats both on land and on sea all on its own. For fast fights, there's 140 rounds in the rack, which should be enough for about 30 interceptions. The turret can also be controlled remotely. It's equipped with a Thales High Precision Optronic Fire Control System with multi-spectral sight and high-speed laser rangefinders. Rapid Fire can automatically select appropriate munitions for specific threats. Rapid Fire is scheduled for development next year and for maritime qualification aboard the French Navy replenishment tanker. And for land use, the system can be adapted to the Caesar MK2 truck chassis and other platforms. Also on display at the show was the latest Blue Shark warship from the French company Naval Group. It's an above-water concept ship consisting of the main body and two floats. The design provides half the ship's resistance with maximum rollability and low acoustic signature. The creators promise that the Blue Shark will have a high combat performance guaranteed readiness to go to sea, high radar stealth, and a fleet of unmanned vehicles on board. The ship is to incorporate some 20 advanced environmental technologies, from propulsion to energy management, including materials onboard waste treatment systems. The idea behind the Blue Shark is to combine the highest combat performance with environmental technologies. MBDA presented at Euronaval 2022 a solution for countering maritime drones. It relies on a number of sensors and effectors such as the Mistral 3 air defense missiles and the Akero ground-to-ground -ground missiles. The system can effectively neutralize any form of threat, from UAVs to small unmanned surface ships. Being modular, scalable, and evolvable, the system can be tailored to specific customer requirements to effectively and appropriately meet specific complex operational scenarios. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems demonstrated its entire portfolio of integrated naval solutions at the show, including the Rafael Sea Breaker. It's a high-precision, long-range autonomous naval strike anti-ship missile that allows for operator intervention at any stage. It uses an electro-optical homing system, computer vision, artificial intelligence, and decision-making technology with an ECM immunity. The Sea Breaker delivers spot strikes from distances up to 300 kilometers against stationary and moving sea as well as land targets at high subsonic speeds. More on the topic of military tech, you've probably seen this video, but in case you haven't, the Chinese company Kestrel Defense demonstrated the throwing arm of an armed robotic dog by a drone. According to the defense company, the drone, which they call the Red Wing, can move behind enemy lines and conduct a surprise attack by dropping a robot dog, and it turns out to be fighting dogs descending from heaven. China continues to amaze. Chinese researchers from Shandong University of Science and Technology recently created a cyborg pigeon. They implanted a chip in the bird's brain and then attached a solar panel about half the size of its smartphone screen to power the device on its head. As a result, the scientists were able to control the pigeon's flight for two hours, at the same time the bird performed the command sent to it with up to a 90% probability. Specialists so far think that these experiments will help find the perfect way to control living organisms. 
but the real image for nightmares was invented at Harvard. Researchers have introduced a robotic grip similar to a reviving tentacle. Let us know in the comments, what do you think of this? The developers decided that a human hand capable of grasping any object was too difficult to replicate robotics, unlike squid tentacles. The artificial tentacles are made of hollow rubber tubes. On one side, it's slightly thicker than the other, and when it's empty, they become sluggish and seem lifeless. But when they're filled with air, they can shrink and twist more or less randomly, encompassing objects. The individual tentacle is weak, but in a group, they can hold objects firmly. Would these replace usual grippers in warehouses? No, but items grabbed at random are very difficult to put in place accuracy. The Chinese company Xpeng held its tech day, where it talked about its own fleet of robo-taxis, a flying car, and a robot with artificial intelligence. The company's G9 SUV was the first production commercial vehicle in China to pass the government autonomous driving test at a closed proving ground. As a result, the auto was allowed to go on road tests without any upgrades, which is very good for production models. The G9 uses the XNGP, an advanced driver assistance platform developed by Xpeng that supports driving scenarios from freeways to challenging urban roads. The platform is supported by significant hardware upgrades, including 508 tops of processing power, a dual LiDAR system, 8 megapixel HD cameras, and a new software architecture called XNet, which is supported by a self-driving artificial intelligence and feedback data system system. Xpeng Aero HT also unveiled the latest version of its vertical takeoff and landing flying vehicle which recently completed its first successful flight, as well as several single-engine failure tests. In driving mode, the car is comparable to any other normal car, but while in flight mode, the steering wheel and gear levers are used to move forward and backwards, make turns, climb, descend, and hover. Toward the end of the event, Xpeng unveiled the latest prototype of its robot, which now features a more complex mechanical structure with higher gear efficiency and a more powerful drive, a high-tech computing platform from the robot car, and a battery and temperature management system. The robot's motion control system has also been significantly upgraded to better adapt to difficult indoor and outdoor terrain such as stairs, steep slopes, and gravel roads. Deep Robotics conducted a research test of the autonomous coordinated operation of a group of Huawei X20 robotic dogs. The five four-legged robots had to detect all the objects on a soccer field, sharing information with each other to increase the speed and efficiency of the survey. The Italian company Idra sent a giant gigapress casting machine to Elon Musk. The equipment, with a total of 9,000 tons, is already waiting in the assembly shop of the Tesla plants in Texas, where they're preparing to start a serial production of the Cybertruck electric pickup truck. According to the developers, it's the world's largest injection molding machine. Last week, Musk wrote that the Texas-based Gigafactory is in full swing to install the new equipment. The company is set to begin production of the Cybertruck in the middle of next year, and Musk intends to personally run the beta prototype of the pickup in the coming weeks. Researchers from Harbin University of Technology have created the most impact-resistant robot finger. Importantly, it's also functional. The antagonistic variable stiffness finger mechanism is powered by a gear train, and its principle of operation is based on the concept of mechanical passive pliability. This means that the contact forces between the robotic arm and the rigid medium are controlled. The mechanical finger absorbs physical influences that can change its stiffness depending on the task to be performed. The 480-gram 3D printed prototype performed well in a series of tests, proving its reliability and functionality. The drone manufacturer Skydio showed incredible footage demonstrating an intelligent system of evading obstacles. The Skydio 2 Plus drone is designed to shoot cool videos in which you're the only operator, director, and actor. In tracking mode, it can even film in the woods. Subscribe to the Pro Robots channel, like this video, and if you haven't done it already, check us out over on Instagram.